basically, I've all, Holly's always had my back. And so when Matt came into the picture, I wasn't ready to share Holly um, in the sense that she always had my back, I always had hers, and now she had Matt's back. So I felt like she couldn't have mine as much. And as Matt, you know, their love began to grow and Matt became more prominent in like the family and just, you know, would come to Thanksgiving, Christmas and everything. I kind of, you know, I realized the type of guy he is and he's, he reminds me a lot of my father. Um, every time I'm with him, I, I know, like I see more of my, of my dad and you. And I, anybody that knows Butch Reynolds knows that there's no man better than him. So I, I just know that, you know, the way that you look at Holly, the way that you treat her, I just know that like she's the love of your life, you know, you're the love of hers and that it's not that Holly only has your back, it's that now Holly has my back and you have mine as well and I want you to know that I have yours too. So cheers to Holly and Matt and have a good night. I still remember the first time that Matt told me about Holly. We were driving back from a, a Washington Wizards game in DC, and he just kept going on and on about how smart and how talented and how funny and how beautiful she was. And I could just see how happy she made him. And you know, almost four years later, here we are, and I too am just so happy to be able to welcome Holly into our family. Uh, I can't wait to see what the future holds for you guys. So let's go ahead and give one more toast for the very happy couple. Before even really knowing Matt, I knew there was something special going on. And since I met him, and the many years since, it's been one of the few relationships that I see that from the get-go you say, it makes sense. And there's no doubt in your mind that it's gonna last. And, yeah, call it, Yes, or whatever, but here we are. Matt Kaimig was the fraternity president of Sigma Alpha Epsilon. If there's one thing we'd like to express, it's that we've been here more or less since the beginning until now. From the first time Matt came back to his room smiling that he, uh, he met a girl, and he's, quote, high-key smitten, and she's 5'11". I actually still remember the day uh, Matt and Holly got engaged, because it was around the time of graduation, I was driving down Jamestown Road in uh, our College of William and Mary, when they stopped in front of me in the crosswalk, so I thought, what a perfect opportunity for me to blast my horn at them 20 times, because why not? Holly didn't see me at first, she just kind of looked around, annoyed, confused why they're crossing the crosswalk legally, why is someone blasting their horn at me? They see my dumb face waving to them, and then 30 seconds later, Matt proposes, so in some ways, this was my doing. <laughs> Holly and Matt, by entering into marriage today, you are declaring your faith in one another. So I'd ask of you, Matt Kami, do you choose Holly Reynolds as your wedded wife to live together in sacred marriage? Will you be honest with her always? Will you stand by her through whatever may come? Do you agree to make whatever adjustments are necessary so that you can genuinely share your life with her? Do you promise to faithfully cherish and honor her, encourage, comfort, and support her, attend her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, remaining completely loyal to her, for as long as you both shall live? I do. Holly Reynolds, do you choose Matt Kaimig as your wedded husband to live together in sacred marriage? Will you be honest with him always? Will you stand by him through whatever may come? Do you agree to make whatever adjustments are necessary so that you can genuinely share your life with him? Do you promise to faithfully cherish and honor him, encourage, comfort, and support him, attend him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, remaining completely loyal to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. May these rings be blessed.
that they who give them and they who wear them may abide in deep peace, remembering their vows until their life's end. Matt, would you please take this ring and put it on Holly's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I thee wed. I thee wed. I love you. I love you. And I commit myself to our relationship. And I commit myself to our relationship. As I give you this ring. As I give you this ring. I join my life with yours. I join my life with yours. Holly, would you please take this ring and put it on Matt's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. I love you. I love you. And I commit myself to our relationship. And I commit myself to our relationship. As I give you this ring. As I give you this ring. I join my life with yours. I join my life with yours. May the dreams you share bring you hope. May the beliefs you share bring you peace. And wherever you are in your journey through life, may your hearts always find their way home. And as I am so very privileged to bring you together in marriage today, I have a personal wish for both of you. My wish is that many, many years from now, you're able to look back on your lives pleased, satisfied, fulfilled. And you will look at one another and say, with you, I lived the life I always wanted to live. With you, I became the person I always longed to be. Holly and Matt, by the love that has brought you here today, by the vows you've exchanged, and by the integrity of your commitment, in the presence of your dearest family and friends, it is my honor and delight to pronounce you husband and wife. Matt and Holly, you may now exchange a kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Mr. and Mrs. Matt and Holly Kybick, husband and wife. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters when it alteration finds or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever fixed mark, which looks on tempest, but is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose worth is unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, and no man ever loved. Everyone, raise your glasses and repeat after me. To the bride and groom. To the bride and groom. That's it. Play some music. Let's celebrate.